Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we've got a new release. It's a hot new release. It is 2020 Topps Chrome Update Sapphire. This just arrived at my doorstep maybe about 20 minutes ago. We're going to open up these four boxes and see what we can find. So I'll tell you a little bit about this product before I start ripping into these boxes. It went on sale as kind of like a pre-sale to the 582 Montgomery Club uh, members, and I'm a member there. Heather's a member there, so we each grabbed two boxes. That was the limit of how many you could buy. Then they also went on sale the next day on Target's website. Those sold out very quickly. And they also subsequently went on sale on tops.com, and those sold out in less than five minutes. So a very hot product right here. Anything Sapphire is gobbled up almost immediately. The price of these boxes, if you were to buy them directly from um, Tops or Target, was $150 per box. You can have these now on the secondary market. You can pick these up on eBay. Prices are kind of fluctuating recently. Uh, looks like they are kind of settling in at around $225 per box on eBay before tax. I've seen listings go for as high as, I think somebody paid $400 for one of these and recently sold. So um, I feel like the average is $225. There's 32 cards per box. They're all refractors, the Sapphire refractors, which are just absolutely gorgeous. And there's one autographed card per box. We're going to get four autos in here as well. And I believe there's also one parallel card per box uh, in each of these. So we're going to open these up right now. Before I open them, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'd love to have you along for more videos. And while you're at it, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you tap that and turn your post notifications to all, anytime I post a video or go live, you'll get a notification in the YouTube app uh, so you don't miss a thing. Also, please hit that thumbs up button. Now, with all of that said, let's go ahead and start ripping these. Where do I begin? I guess we'll start off in the bottom left. You can see all the stars there on the front of the box. Kyle Lewis, Trout, Luis Robert Bichette, Harper, who he pulled a one-of-one one Harper out of um, our break last night. A really nice one right there, Javi Baez. Let's see what we can find. Let's give you a quick little tour around the box before I just rip this box open all together um i know a lot of you like to see the no purchase necessary information that's a pretty cool photo variation of bryce harper i haven't seen that picture yet on any of, his, any of his cards there's the odds on the back there's the no purchase necessary stuff if you'd like to send in a postcard to maybe try to get some free cards from tops all right so let's see what we've got tops chrome update sapphire this is the first time they've done Tops Chrome Update in Sapphire. It's the inaugural release of this product. Make sure there's no packs hanging out in there. All 300 cards are in the Sapphire finish, so there's a large base set. And there's 41 subjects in the autograph checklist, so there's some nice names in there. And uh, there's some common names in there as well, but we'll see who we come up with. There's a Max Scherzer as our first card. There's Francisco Cervelli. You're going to notice some of these pictures if you've picked up any tops update now uh, they're just reusing them with the chrome finish there's the back of the card you can see um you know basic tops chrome like back but the sapphire finish is what makes this really nice we'll be looking for ken Griffey jr's card in here it's his first ever tops chrome sapphire card so that's kind of like a chase card there's a joe kelly jacob de Grom is a nice one we've got a green of Zach Wheeler. Check it out. Green, I think, is out of 99. No, 45 for this. 30 out of 45. Zach Wheeler. Nice one right there. So we'll get that one sleeved up. And we have a Jalen Beeks as the last card right there. Next up, hopefully you're able to pick up some of these. If you, you had three shots at it this year to get this product. Um, if you were in the 582 Club, then you know that's that's the best shot at it if, if you missed out on getting a 582 club membership make sure you mark your calendar and get one next year it's the membership that keeps paying yes you have to pay 300 dollars to be in the club but it is a pretty nice club and i think we have our autograph coming up here and um i was gonna say you also had a shot at target and also tops but the window is very small for any sapphire product it'll be interesting to see what the next sapphire product that comes out is seems like tops has been Pumping out these Sapphire products because they're so popular. Nice Mookie bets. All right, our autograph is going to be a Mauricio Dubon. Why can I not escape Mauricio Dubon autographs? And also there's a slight ding in that top left corner of that auto, which is never um, a fun thing. Mauricio Dubon is the first auto. Hopefully we get some big time autos in here. Bo Bichette has an auto in the checklist. Bryce Harper, Aaron Judge, um, Garrett Cole has an auto in there as well. Jordan Alvarez 
Randy Rosarena, Mike Trout has an auto in there, Kyle Lewis, Luis Roberts. So there's nice names in there. And then there's guys like Mauricio Dubon, Justin Dunn, Jake Fraley, 41 total subjects. There's a Pedro Martinez and Kurt Casale. Three more packs. Hopefully we can find that Griffey. There's a Chris Martin. Diego Castillo. There's a nice Mike Trout. That's going to be a pretty nice, valuable card there. I bet you a Sapphire Trout card goes for uh, a nice bit. Usually even the commons will fetch anywhere between 5 and 10 bucks. There's a Buck Farmer for people putting together this high-end set. All right, we've got Kevin Plawecki as the first one there. Chris Sale. Cody Stashik and Tim LaCastro is our last card. Here's our last pack. We got our parallel. We got our autograph. Luckily, we have four boxes. First box, not crazy, but uh, we'll try our luck with the next one right now. By the way, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, we've got two videos for you tonight. I was actually going to do a baseball card store video today, <clears throat> and then these showed up at the doorstep, but I was like, well, we got to postpone that. So we'll do the card store video tomorrow, but I'm still going to open for Throwback Thursday tonight the 2004 Donruss Studio Box that I picked up there. We'll see what we can find in there. And uh, hopefully we can find some good stuff tonight in Throwback Thursday. There's three hits in the box, so that's a positive. All right, here we go. Our next uh, pack. Do we have an auto? We got the autograph right now. I'm going to save that auto for the end. The autograph is in that first pack. Let's find the parallel. And by end, I just mean the end of the box. <clears throat> All right, so we got Russell Martin getting doused there with some pink Gatorade. Drew Butera, nice one right there. Possible future manager right there, Drew Butera. And Logan Morrison Lomo is the last one in that stack. We've got a Pedro Strope. Ty France. There's Steve Ciszek and Jonathan Villar. Pack number two, looking for the parallel. Hopefully everybody's having a great Thursday out there. Kyle Ryan, I don't know why I got these so quickly. I, I feel like I placed my order on um, Tuesday and uh, here they are two days later, they're here. Maybe it's because um, I'm, I'm in Pennsylvania. I, I do believe Topps headquarters is in Pennsylvania, so that works out. Jose Martinez, Matt Davidson, and a nice Derek Jeter Sapphire. That's a nice looking card right there. Derek Jeter Sapphire, probably worth um, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate, but definitely worth more than a common for sure. Here comes our parallel. One parallel per box. It's a Kyle Gibson out of 45 green. And we have an Aristides Aquino, one of the top, I guess you could still consider one of the top rookies in this set. It's a rookie debut card, but still a nice one right there. Next up, got a Pete Alonso on the back. There's Miguel Cabrera, Austin Allen, Albert Pujols, and there's Pete in the home run derby. So let's do this last pack, and then we'll get into that autograph and see what it is. Buck Farmer for the second time, Kenley Jansen and Mo Marion Rivera, one of the all-time greats. All right, so we had Mauricio Dubon from the first box. The second box is going to have a Kwang Young Kim. Kwang Young Kim is it's a rookie card auto, so I would say that we're 0 for 2 on the autographs right now. Um, as I said, there's 41 names in there, and you got guys like Abraham Toro in that set, along with Brian O'Grady, and um, I already mentioned, <laughs> I already mentioned um, our guy Jake Fraley, but James Marvel for some reason has an autograph in this. I'm, I'm not sure what that's all about, but um, I hope we don't pull a James Marvel autograph. I'm hoping for one of the big names I mentioned earlier. Let's see if we can find in box number three. It'd be nice to find at least one big auto. I'll be doing another video of Topps Chrome Sapphire Update. Did I even say that in the right order? Order Topps Chrome Update Sapphire? I don't know. There's just so much going on there. Somebody joked around that uh, Topps is probably going to be doing 2021 Topps Chrome Sapphire Opening Day. <laughs> Someone else was joking around. They're going to do Topps Chrome Update um, Yearbook Stickers Sapphire. Just everyone loves Sapphire so much that they're just going to Sapphire everything. We've got our parallel in the first... Um, pack here let's see what it is no it's not it's a jake newber i saw that look kind of look like a green that green field made me believe that was going to be the green parallel but it's not got faked out there so 
Yeah, we'll have another round of Chrome Sapphire when the other boxes come in. There's the green. It's going to be a Michael Hermosillo out of 90, out of 45. I always want to say 99 because I'm so used to greens being out of 99. But we'll have a second round of Sapphire once the uh, ones that I got from the Topps main website come in. And uh, we'll open those up to Patreon members to buy a box of those if you'd like to. We got the Saturday Showdown we just posted a few minutes ago before we're going live. We'll be doing that on Saturday with 2020. One Tops Archive Signature Series as we patiently await our 2021 Top Series 1. And we got the autograph right here. So it didn't work last time when I tried to save it for the end. So let's just show it to you now and we'll see if that works. We got a Miguel Cabrera there. The autograph is going to be... Oh, there we go. That's what we're after. It is a Randy Rosarena autograph. Rookie card sapphire right there. Big time money on that card. I have no idea what it goes for. By the way, Jeff Hoffman, if anybody cares. Uh, I feel like... Um, now, these literally just came out. I'm probably one of the first uh, people that got it um, being in Pennsylvania. I haven't seen too many other videos of this product on YouTube yet, so I'm going to see if anybody has um, sold this card on eBay, or at least listed it on eBay, um, give you an idea of what this bad boy goes for. Uh, Alright, so I usually like to give my guesses. I'm going to guess this card's worth, hmm, I'm going to guess 300 Randy Arosa Arena Sapphire Update Auto, and um, I don't see any listings yet so all right that's the first one might be worth even more than 300 first one pulled i guess there's not even a base randy rosarena sapphire update listed yet i'm sure they'll be up there tomorrow or the next day as people get their boxes a huge hit right there randy rosarena rookie card autograph of course if you don't know about him that's a nice on another mike trout you don't know about him he took the uh, baseball world by surprise and storm in october just um smashing home runs looking like uh i don't know they call him the the cuban mookie bets i guess on the rays because he's so good and he just um surprised everybody's cards really took off i'm really interested to see what randy does next year in 2021 with a full season we shall see there's a nice bryce harper so a huge hit the randy and we've got one more box maybe we can go two for four that'd be pretty nice 50 percent big hits for our autographs thank you very much for watching everybody again i hope that you are enjoying this video and if you haven't already hit the thumbs up button please do so very much appreciate that Maybe you'll pick up a box of these for yourself. If you do, I hope you hit a nice big-time auto in there and not a James Marvel. And uh, I'm probably just hijinks myself. We're getting James Marvel this pack for sure, I bet, or this box. We've got a Chesler Cuthbert as our first card. Frankie Lindor with the Indians. One of the last times you'll see him in an Indians uniform and on any of the newer cards coming out. I'm sure that... Maybe for 2021, he'll still be in a uh, an Indian uniform if he's in Series 1, but they're going to airbrush that mesh uniform on him pretty quickly here. I bet you buy Heritage when that comes out. 2021 Heritage usually comes out the end of February. He'll probably be in a mesh uniform in that. David McKay, we've got an Adam Engel, and David Price is the last one there. Let me know in the comment section what you think that Randy's worth. Um, I'm, I'm interested to know. There's a Robert Stevenson. Felix Hernandez, we've got an orange. Oh, man, look at this. I told you guys earlier the big chase card was Ken Griffey Jr. because it's his first Sapphire card. And now we pull a parallel orange out of 25. That is pretty awesome right there. Check that bad boy out. A Ken Griffey Jr. update uh, Sapphire orange. Not really sure what that goes for, but uh, honestly, I would not be surprised if this is worth... Uh, 100 200 a couple hundred bucks uh, very nice one right there orange so a pretty darn good haul with just these two cards <clears throat> so we will definitely take it for sure next up we've still got that autograph let's see if we can walk things off here with a nice big hit and send everybody home happy i feel like you have to go home happy already after this haul uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, here we go. Last autograph. It is going to be. I see some teal there. I'm hoping it's not. Oh, it's going to be. I bet you it's Jake Fraley. 
It's going to be... Do you believe that, guys? <laughs> Jake Fraley, as predicted before flipping it over. So at least we got the Randy. There's the Fraley. And um, totally jinxed myself on that one. We've got um, Robbie Cano on the back. But the Randy is the number one card of the day. The Ken Griffey Jr. Orange, number two. And we'll check out the rest of these. Maybe we'll find some nice rookie debuts in these last two packs. I hope you guys will check us out later tonight as we bust open some 2004 Don Russ with three hits in it for our Throwback Thursday video, which we do every Thursday. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening as we check out our last pack. A tribute Terra once again, Sean Poppin, rookie card. And there he is. That's the big name of the day, Randy Rosarena. It's his regular Sapphire rookie card. It's a super nice card in a way to end this, a great way to end this break. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that thumbs up button. Also, the subscribe button if you're new here. Make sure you don't miss a video. We, we post every single day. And I hope to see you a little bit later tonight for Throwback Thursday. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.